I just happen to work for the Colorado Yard Company, but uh, I think even if I didn't, I'd love this Cimarron platform tent that we make. It's only maybe 10 yards from my house, but when I come out here, I feel like I'm in the great outdoors. So it's uh, it just makes it a really great getaway. You got the natural light. Uh, I like to cook on the wood stove. We got a wood stove here, so um, sometimes I come out here and cook pancakes on the griddle. How great is that? Kids love it. Um, the stove, just a little old stove I bought for, you know, a used stove for like 50 bucks. And um, I've slept out here when it's 9 degrees or so, and I've, you know, it stays 70 degrees. I've even had to open um, the, the door sometimes when I've had a little dinner party or something because it gets so hot in here. So don't worry about getting cold in one of these things because if you got a nice little stove, it's going to heat it up very well for you. Come on over here to the kitchen. It's kind of a simple little kitchen. We just have a, a cutting uh, table so I'm able to, you know, run out to the garden. We've got an organic garden in the back so we can chop up vegetables, cook them on the grill. Um, every now, sometimes I like to use the Coleman stove so we can pull that baby out when we um, need to do something. We've got a Dutch oven so I can throw it on the... Um, wood stove if I want to cook on that so that makes it great you know coffee I've brought a little electricity in here just I've um, it put an extension cord from my garage just pulled out a you know a regular old orange extension cord so I can have a little bit of light out here um, and then coffee maker I do use this um, it's a little oil heater so for kind of supplemental heat so I don't have to get up in the night and that usually keeps it around 40 or 50, uh, 50 degrees, so that makes it pretty nice. Uh, I've got this little table that I got from my grandma, and it's got um, ends that pull out on, on both sides, so I can just scoot this thing out to the middle, and we can, um, you know, we've had 10 people or so out here. So it's a lot of um, fun to have people for dinner because I really don't have room in my house. It's less than 1,000 square feet, so I've got to um, kind of... This is kind of where I have any kind of people over to eat. Uh, we also have, let me show you one other thing. We've got this great little popcorn popper. And other things that cook in slow. So we can uh, put popcorn in there, put it over the wood stove, and man, that keeps you busy for like 20 or 30 minutes. So it's, it's a great kid thing. What else do we have? Oh, we got the futon. So, you know, you can use this as a couch where you can fold it out and sleep out here. And you can see we've got a uh, futon, we've got the stove, we've got a little kitchen area, we've got a dining table, and over in the corner where you're standing here, we've got a little uh, rocking chair that I got dumpster diving. So that's kind of one of the things I'm really proud of. Um, pull that out of the dumpster, mix it up a little bit. It's perfect in here. We've got um, Four, uh, four sides of mosquito netting, and I really love that. I'm from the south, and we love sitting out on our screen up porches. So in the summertime, I can roll up all the sides on this canvas, and the front and back, and I've got myself a little screen and porch. So I love that part about it. Um, come on outside, and I'll show you a few things about the outside. Um, now the tent that I chose, the fabric that I chose, was is called Tough Star. It's got a five-year warranty on it, and that was pretty important to me because I get sunlight all day long, and it's harsh Colorado sunlight. So that's going to stand up really well to UV rays. It's got a little polyester in it also, and so that's going to stand up well to mold if you're in a, a humid environment. It's got a five-year warranty on it, so it's just it's really a tough fabric, and um, it'll last you at least five years. Um, the platform you can see, we've got platform plans on our website and you can download those. I um, just took those to Home Depot and they were able, you know, I was able to put together everything that I needed for the platform. Pretty easy to understand. A friend and I were able to build this with pretty, you know, very little building experience. We did it in a couple of weekends. Um, on this tent, I added a side window because I wanted to have a little light, uh, especially in the winter time. So um, that's a nice feature. I've also um, got mosquito netting, uh, which I can roll these sides up. I can roll the front and the back up. And it's pretty much like being on a screen and porch. So it's a really nice addition. If you're going to get one of these tents, I would really highly recommend that you get the four sides of mosquito netting because it's, you know,
know, it's, it's a, a perfect addition. You roll those up and you just feel like you're in the great outdoors. So come on around back and I'll show you a few things back there. We're at the back of the tent now. As you can see, it's got three closures here. They're basically Velcro straps. So you can just undo those. And then you pull this open. Also, um, the, the screen in, in part that I was telling you about, it has a zipper with it. So you just unzip this part. And there's also a tie, so you can tie that up. And in the summertime, it gets pretty hot around here. It can be uh, 90 or 100 easily in the summertime but I can open this back up and the front up and it just you know it gets a really nice breeze through here so that, that shows you a little bit about our Cimarron tents and uh, I, I just can't tell you how much I've enjoyed having mine it's uh, my house is only a thousand square feet so this gives me an extension to have friends over have kids over um, and it you know it, it does it without having the cost of adding on to the house so I really liked it. Check out Mary Jane Farms, uh, Organic Farms, Mary Jane's Organic Farms, and um, you'll kind of get an idea of how she's using her tents too. So good to talk to you, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.